so we have used kill command with minus 9 option let's use the kill command with instead of minus 9 we will use kill minus 15 15 is actually a very polite kill okay so this is a polite way of sending a sick term signal to a process and giving an opportunity to clean up after itself the process doesn't respond to sick term signal when the then the strongest signal that is sick kill signal that is kill minus 9 is set and sick kill that is kill minus 9 it basically kills the process immediately without giving a chance to clean up so you can see that there is something called kill minus 15 which is a polite way of killing it or uh, and the signal which it sends kill minus 15 we call it as sick term signal okay so let's try to see a process which we want to kill okay so let's see there is let's try to run this command so let's say this command is running top command is running okay and I want to kill this particular process ID okay so what I want to do is I would like to kill this particular process ID okay this is the process ID that I want to kill okay 60668 now let me go to the another window okay and let's try to kill this process id that is kill minus 15 that i want to show you and the process id that we want to kill is let's say 6414 okay this is the top command that i want to kill which is 60674 okay you can see at the back end immediately the prompt is returned and this is killed let's see again this is your top command and you can see that at the top command this is your top command okay so for top this is number three process is six zero six seven eight okay so let's try to send this kill minus 15 signal which is 60678 you can see that immediately that process gets killed okay so that is about the kill minus 15 okay which is sending a sick term signal and we spell it like this sick term okay then we have seen the top command we have seen let's try to run this process again top command and let's see try to send this kill minus 9 signal and this signal we also call it as sig kill signal okay so just I had written to show you guys what it is so kill minus 9 sig is a sig kill signal which is like a sure shot permanent immediate kill okay so here you can see that this process what is the process id number 260684 60684 okay if i just press here it's an immediate kill okay you can see that at the top itself that many comes prompt comes so you can see this is where you have the immediately the root it gets killed you can see this is killed okay so let me clear this window now it is clean okay so now let's see one more command called p kill command okay so let me show you what this command is so let's see these two very similar commands p kill and there is one more command called p grep Okay, these two are pretty close so 
let's start with pgrep command. Okay, pgrep command, what it will do is it will list the processes. So let's say this is a command minus u, let's say this is the id, comma, let's say th we want to search for some other user. And let's start some process using this id first. Okay. So let's say I start this process here with the ID as Sam. Okay, so let's see the processes which is running using these two IDs. Okay, you can see that this is the list of all the processes which is running using these two IDs. Okay, so if we want to kill these processes, okay, so how we are going to kill them is we can use this command called p kill and minus u. And if we just write Sam, it will kill all the users session user listed as Sam. Okay, so it will not give you the output of the process IDs. So here you can see that this is your process IDs. Okay, but if you just type p kill, it will not show them, but it will kill all these processes straight away. Okay, all the processes which is by this ID, say, let's say ps, let's say I am having running this as the grepping this particular user and if I try to kill this this particular user session because this ID is root okay so here you can see that the user ID for this is root zero means it's a root so that is the reason it is showing up all the root IDs here. Okay, so let me change this for you so that you can get a feel of how the different users, how we can kill or use this pkill command for the user. Okay, so now let's see the processes which is running for user Sam. Okay. You can see these are the processes which is running for user Sam. And now if we do a p grep k minus u user Sam and you will see that these process IDs are listed. And instead of p grep if I use p kill minus user say Sam what it is going to do is it is going to kill all these process IDs. Okay, and if I do this command again, you can see that all commands are killed. All these processes, this, 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 only the S SU session is remaining. Okay, so everything is killed. So all the sesh processes owned by this user ID by this username Sam is killed. So this is how we use this particular command called pkill command, k and pgrep command.